Thank you um, for this wonderful event. And I, you can't see it, Senator, but there is a lineup outside of young women waiting to hear our voices and waiting to hear your voices because they, along with you and everyone on this panel, knows that we have leadership responsibilities and leadership obligations. The story that I want to tell is not about a victim. It's about a activist that we met in, um, in Mexico City. Her name is Nellie Montalegre. And she is single-handedly has built out a program for prosecuting for uh, violence against women, prosecuting human trafficking, prosecuting crimes against children. And she has, along with her supporters, made a huge difference for the children and the victims of Mexico. We stand shoulder to shoulder with all of those advocates, and I know in very many corners there are advocates all across the country, all across the world, who stand with us, but they expect one thing from us. They expect leadership. And a lot of us who uh, uh, confront this problem at home, confront the discussion at home, as we move into a period of isolationism, a lot of us get asked, why should we care? And we know those countries that are most violent against their women and children, who are most impoverished, are the least stable, present the greatest national security risk. And so we have to, we have to address this problem not only from a human rights standpoint, but from a national security standpoint. Because if we stabilize the situation, if we're able to provide for women and children in every corner of the world, we will have a much more stable, much more gracious, and I think uh, uh, a much better world. And so thank you for your leadership, and uh, thank you for the leadership of everyone at this table.